everybody, welcome back to our home video series on how to do some charcuterie projects out of a basic Boston butt pork roast. Uh, what, the next step I'm going to show you is how to clean your casings. If you're going to be making a dry cured salami, it's important that you're using a natural hog casing. What I'm using today is a 32-35 millimeter hog casing. I got these online at Butcher Packer Supply. Um, how they come in is packed in salt. I've taken them out of the bag that they were in and put them in a Ziploc container here. Um, that just makes it easier for me to store them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start out by just filling up another bowl with some warm tap water here. It doesn't need to be super hot, just needs to be warm. What we're trying to do is rinse the salt off of these casings and also make them more pliable so that when we are stuffing our sausage, we're not getting too many holes in them, they're not popping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out just by trying to find the end of one of these <clears throat> strands here. Now these usually get tangled when they're shipped. Um, you just need to work your fingers into them and get them back out. Now what I do is I find an opening and I start out to clean them. I just put a little bit of water in here. Now you can see I'm using a large casing. This is a 32, 35 millimeter again, like I said. You can use a smaller one. If you go to your local meat department, they'll be using a smaller casing than this, which will result in a smaller dry cured sausage, but it also means a quicker cure time for you. So the next step we're going to do, you can see, my sausage is starting to fill with water here, the casing is, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull with one hand, letting that water sit into here, and as it runs through, all it's going to do is wash some of the salt off the outside and force its way into the rest of that casing, just opening it up a little bit, making it easier for us to use. We're probably only going to need one or two of our casings today to stuff the two and a half pounds of sausage that we're planning on making. Um, these hanks that you'll buy online stuff about 100 pounds of sausage when you're all said and done, so they last for quite a while. And I'll go over at the end how we're going to store them. Now you can see I'm at a point where I'm all tangled up. I'm going to do what I can to untangle this. Just pull that out. You can see it just took a little bit of weaseling around there to pull it out, and that water is really what's helping me out here. It's forcing its way into the opening of the casing. That's the path that it wants to run down. So. This is pretty simple for you. Um, if you have meat experience, you'll have done quite a bit of this working at a meat department, but for you guys at home, this is a new process for you. Um, but really, it is quite an easy one. This is gonna be, what I have already is more than enough casing for what we're going to be doing today, but rather than tearing this off, I'm gonna try to find the end of it just so that I'm not wasting anything here. If you've ordered some of these online, you know they're fairly expensive, but like I said, the nice thing is that they'll keep for quite a while. So we're just going to continue to clean this out. We've got the end there, and so now I've got it soaked in the hot water. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to find my end again, and I'm going to set that on my bowl. Now these are ready for me to stuff the sausage meat into. When I put them on my stuffer, again, I'm going to open them up. I'm going to put a little bit of water in just to get the inside of that lubricated and open it back up. But for right now, that's all we need to do. Now, if we're going to return the rest of these casings to our refrigerator to keep them for a while, if you've washed them, what you're gonna to need to do is pour off some of the excess liquid, which I'm gonna do right now. And then the last step that we're gonna do is then I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna coat these with just a layer of regular salt. It can be iodized, non-iodized, it can be sea salt, whatever salt that you have handy. So let me grab some of that real quick. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put a nice layer of salt right over the top of our casings. There will be a slight odor to them. That's just because of what they did when they were alive as part of an animal. That was part of their function. So now we have a nice covering of salt on the top. That is going to act to create a brine on the rest of these casings. What it's going to do, it's going to make an equilibrium between the liquid that's in there and the salt. It'll create a perfect brine that'll make these keep indefinitely if you store them in your refrigerator. So I'm just gonna put my lid back on top, put them back in, and I'm ready to stuff my sausage.